And I'd like to just start by asking you, do you think the protests of today, yes. and how do you see them playing out um, yes. in uh, the next 20 years or so? Sure. <laughs> Very important question. You see, you see this is uh, uh, since the 1979-1980. Um, uh, it's 38 years of after the revolution, and despite all the indoctrination, despite all the propaganda, despite all the attempts to further Islamicize the Iranian society, they seem to have failed. This regime has not been able to try to fully. Uh, uh, particularly the younger generations of Iranians who have their own demands, who have their own perspective of the uh, uh, world, and they are, uh, if you scratch the surface, an enormous amount of opposition to the state. As some of the slogans in the past month, uh, unrest clearly shows that. The problem is that uh, the Islamic Republic uh, took care of uh, eliminating any alternative uh, source of uh, opposition to the state, um, either domestically or internationally. There is nothing that can replace it. Uh, and uh, further than that, uh, perhaps it's rather unwise to think that uh, uh, there should be another revolution or this whole talk about the regime change and all of that that we hear from very radical circles in this country. Uh, what it seems to me the only option available is that a kind of a, a evolutionary process that would gradually within this whole sy system itself and partly by generational change would come about. Now that we see a new generation is gradually emerging and their demands are different. They want a greater liberalization. They want uh, a less interference in the economic market by, by the state. They, they are against the enormous amount of corruption, monopoly of power, monopoly of economy uh, by the revolutionary guards and so on. Even perhaps within the revolutionary guards there is a change. So we have to wait and see how this process is going to um, take care of itself. I doubt that there is any kind of an attempt um, uh, to, uh, well, support for protest is one thing, support for discontent is one thing, but any interference is another. Uh, and uh, as indeed the example of Iraq very clearly showed that uh, that may end up in a disaster, and Iran is a very different country from Iraq. It's entirely a different country from virtually all of its neighbor. This is not an exceptionalism or a sense of nationalist uh, sentiments on my side, but uh, it's a country that, because of its long history, a certain homogenization is in this country that it's not easy to, uh, to uh, deal with in terms of a military or any kind of an attempt of that nature. Um, it's, if, if there would be any outside interference, uh, you would be surprised to see that there would be how much uh, 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 a sense of unification of the country under the Islamic Republic, more kind of attempt to try to create a united front against the outsiders. So I would say that this is something that should happen over a course of time. Mm -hmm.